The road to revival, ready or not, here he comes. The following is an excerpt from the 2003 prophetic end time book, Awakening the Sleeping Giant, The Church and the Road to Revival. Quote, the road to revival is paved with many prayers of a deep and true repentance. Imagine this scenario. It is Saturday evening, time to get ready for church. It's been a while since our church leaders decided to start a Saturday church service. A group of radical, no-compromise people in our church have been praying and fasting for quite some time when finally the pastor decides to start an extra service on Saturdays. The congregation is large enough and a Saturday service allows those to come who usually have to work on Sundays. However, the main emphasis would still be the regular Sunday morning service. Unfortunately, the limited time and the structured program doesn't really allow the Holy Spirit to move freely. Also, those with a prophetic gift strongly sense that the Lord is about to do something new and exciting and that it is time to press in on God through corporate worship and prayer like never before. The first few Saturdays, although quite different from the regular Sunday routine, were very exciting, but nothing in comparison to what is taking place now. It all began with an older fellow who walked up to the microphone one Saturday night. All he said was, I'm sorry, Jesus, and then he went down on his knees, sobbing almost uncontrollably. What really made this an outstanding event was that about 50 people joined him that night. They were crying and repenting as they fell to their knees before the Lord. The following Saturday saw the whole congregation on their faces, crying out to God for his mercy and for his glory to be revealed. Then it happened. Some felt a warm breeze touch their faces or saw a bright light engulfing the room. Others heard a sound or sensed a sweet aroma surrounding them. Ever since God's Holy Spirit came in his power, we have been witnessing the most incredible manifestations. People are receiving physical and emotional healing as they fall down onto the floor unable to stand in his powerful presence. Many have rededicated their lives to the Lord after they spent hours repenting and pouring out their hearts to Jesus. But what is most exciting about all of this is that people are lining up in front of the church to get into one of our now five services. Hundreds have accepted Jesus as their Savior, and many more are added during every service. God is drawing people like a magnet into the church. There have even been reports from those who didn't know the Lord, who, as they were driving by, felt an unexplainable urge to stop and come in. After they received Jesus, they knew that it was his Holy Spirit leading them. Revival. The spiritual awakening of the church through the reviving of the people in their passion for Jesus. When God's Holy Spirit comes in his power, pouring down from heaven as living water, he brings new life and his overwhelming presence is revealed through the signs and miracles that only he can do. Revelation 22, 1 and 2. And he showed me a pure river of water of life clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielding of fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. John 4.10 Jesus answered and said unto her, If you knew is the gift of God, and who it is that says to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. It is not the sophisticated sermon of a well-trained preacher, the professional sound and musicianship of a worship band, 
nor is it the waving of flags or the dancing of dancers that will bring victory to the church. Just like Moses was forever changed after he went up on the mountain to meet with God, so also his people today must have a personal encounter with him. Only when we are enveloped in God's Shekinah glory presence will we be transformed, healed, empowered, and authorized to become true representatives of Jesus Christ. In the introduction of this chapter, I tried to paint a picture of what an outbreak of revival could possibly look like. We can easily see why a church revival is in God's greatest interest when we understand that it is always accompanied by a large soul harvest. It is believed that the Great American Revival in 1859, for example, generated as many as half a million Christians in one year. The saving of souls is the very reason why Christ gave his life on the cross of Calvary, and when the Christian church radiates the Shekinah glory of God, people are drawn by his supernatural presence. End quote. Please see below other excerpts from the book and also links to a couple of songs.